Hi, welcome to Tech Canvas. I am Rashmi. In this video, we will discuss on estimation in a agile project. Let us get started. In any agile project, we refer tasks to be worked upon as a user story. After a scrum iteration of development, this story needs to be delivered to the customer in working condition. The story needs the story size needs to be estimated so that it can be worked upon. Since agile methodology is a collaborative way of working, the entire team, including a product owner, scrum master, developers, QA testers, and stakeholders are part of the estimation. The rough estimation starts at the point of requirement. Let us take an example of a business who needs to implement accounting setup. Apart from other requirements, below are identified few requirements. Subsystem on payables of the business, remittance clearance to the bank, subsystem dealing with vendor management. The product owner, customer, and other stakeholders decide how do the story needs to be delivered, whether the business wants a full working subsystem, one after the other, or part of the working subsystems delivered in parallel. These subsystems can be called as an epic, that is, big story, and tasks can be considered atomic stories, which can be broken down further. So in this case, we have two options. One is to finish the first related sub, uh, subsystems one after the other. Once finished with the development of the first epic, the team can start working on the next epic, that is next subsystem, or pick up few related stories from different subsystems and work upon them in parallel. The estimation here needs to be agreed upon by all the intended parties, that is product owners, customers, stakeholders, and strategy level decision makers. The product owner can give a rough estimate to the customer or the business that picked up tasks can be completed in identified number of iterations. The product owners keep a list of the product backlog and update product backlog in the management tool like Jira or so. Please note at this point of time, the estimation is not accurate. However, it gives a confidence to the customer. Estimation of user story. Please remember, agile estimation is a team sport. So let us see how the estimation process works. Product backlog is updated with a new item added few days before next estimation meeting. The items are prioritized. The entire process is called product backlog refinement. And this is done by the product owner. The user stories are picked up from the product's backlog and are considered for the next sprint backlog. These stories are estimated for the effort to be put in by the team. This process of estimation is discussed within the team in a formal meeting called sprint planning meeting. Stories are given points by the team. Here, the important point to note is that estimation is totally on relative terms and they are not absolute measurements. These story points are given from the Fibonacci series, that is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8, and so on. The Fibonacci series is considered because the ratio of the any number to the next number is constant, that is 1.6, and typically it suits the estimation technique. This technique suits major agile project. However, this is not the only estimation technique. For the initial iteration, a doable story is picked up and given a particular story point, let us say point two. This is the baseline for the estimation. For the next stories picked up, uh, the points are given based upon the comparison with the previous story point. And this is the way the story points are assigned. The team will take an item from the backlog and discuss it briefly and each member will mentally formulate an estimate. Then everyone can hold up a card showing their voted point. If everyone agrees to it, it is great. 
as the team needs to discuss the rationale behind the different views. Ideally, not longer than two to three minutes. There can be difference in thoughts when giving the value point to the particular story. The technical team understands the code and limitations of the technology better. Uh, the product owners understand the requirement and underlying hidden statement better. The idea of the sprint planning meeting is to have a collaborative discussion. And estimation is done with agreed story point by the team with consensus. Next point to be noted is agile estimation is for a team. It's not fair to compare two different agile teams for their deliverables. We hope this video will help you in estimating the user stories. We welcome your feedback and related queries. Please do contact us on info at techcanvas.com. Thank you.